Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast. We're hyped. This is episode 104. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am hyped. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. What up? What up? What up, man? You already know what it is. It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Red zone, baby. Copy that. That is my man from the E Block Radio Network, where you find the Hot Hustle Podcast with hype every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E Block Radio Network. The exclusive home of the video of the Hot House Podcast. Right? <laughs> For sure. Since we since we already there, let's keep it going. GFT Radio Network every Tuesday, 2 o'clock. Uh, Wednesday, 216 to blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Then we go Friday. I say Podcast Radio Network, 10 a.m. on Friday. Saturdays is 10 a.m. on THC Media. West Coast was happening. We still need something out there. At H2H Cleaning, H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. We do roofing, plumbing, HVAC cleanups, cleanouts, flooring, carpeting. If you make my, make it worth my wild cue, we will slide out to the D and we will make it happen out there. <laughs> <Word. laughs> that is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. Then we go Custom Hustle World. That's my clothing line. Custom Hustle uh, World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jerseys, jackets, t-shirts, sneaks, and sweats too. Yes, the sneakers are available in any color that you want them in. And you can get something else on the side other than Custom Hustle that's going to cost you a little extra. You're out of town, shipping and handling will be a little more, but we'll take care of you. We won't kill you. And uh, the jackets are one of one, one of one unless you buy four. You design them yourself. You pick your own colors, names, however you want to design. Yes, you can have it that way. It's called Custom for a reason. Now, episode 104, got my man Q back in the saddle. Sure. We're kind of going to look things a little different today with Q. We're going to get to know Q a little bit here. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to sit down, relax, put your feet up, Q, and let's start off with this one. Yep. What does the world need you for? Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't know it was coming this I deep. didn't know it was coming like that. Oh, uh, shit. What does the world need me for? You know what? It's been, I've been using so much of the time figuring out what I needed the world for. Let me see what they need me for, though. Uh, shit. That's a good ass question. A paid talent like myself can throw stuff out there like that. I answer, for you. I answer it for you first, Q. Let me get you built up here. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you need me because I'm a person that connects to everything. I'm gotcha. the type of person who makes things. I, I know that I can make things happen. I know if for somebody sure. hits me and say, yo, you know anybody in Detroit who can do this, that, or whatever? Yeah, I do. I actually know two or three people. How you need it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, if you hit me and say, yo, I got my cousin hit me and said, I got stuck in dollars. Yo, what's popping down here tonight? I get you a whole itinerary. My man yeah. told me, yo, I'm going to Vegas. What's popping out here? I hit my folks in Vegas and she sends me a whole drink and says, if they into this, they go here. If you into that, go here. If it's if sure. whatever day of the week, you can go okay, here. I dig that. I'm that I... type of guy. You know what I'm saying? International yeah. hype is not just a hashtag, it's a way of life. So I believe that's what the world needs me for. You need me to connect all your situations because everything is a hustle. Damn. So you got that shit prepared. I was about to say something lame like this, dog. You just need me for good energy, bro. Like I bring good energy to lame. any situation. You know what I'm saying? So that, like, that's my thing, dog. I'm like a, I'm more of a uh, glass half full than glass half empty type nigga and shit, dog. Cause I, I ain't gonna lie. I know people throw this around a lot about people having bad energy and shit like that. But in real life, dog, that shit is so real, bro. Like I, that shit kind of pissed me off. Bad joint, bro. Right for sure. So instead of instead of because what some people do though. I know a lot of people say, like, I want to get rid of all the bad energy. Like, I want to stay away from it. Like, I don't really care. Like, if you got bad energy, I try to change that shit. I don't just run from it. I try to change it. Because some niggas giving off bad energy don't even realize they're doing it. So, like, sometimes you need me to get that little spin for you. Help you That's out your rut. You feel me? I, I don't even want to say this. That's my daughter. I tell her that all the time. You're making that <laughs> face, though. She's like, I ain't even doing nothing. You are, though, in case you don't no, know it. Don't even know it, bro. I'm telling you. All right, see, look, that's a good ass question, though. I like that shit. I might steal that motherfucker. I mean, listen, I don't, I I tell people all the time, I'm a habitual plagiarist, okay? (laughs) If I'm listening to something on the Wake and Bake show, you know what I'm saying? Uh, If it's something that I like, I will plagiarize, but I will say, shots out to the Wake and Bake. I stole this from them. (laughs) For sure, I did. As long as you you give me the yo hype, this was from you, copy. I'm good with that. All right, no doubt. Uh, somebody having good energy though, bro. Let's not just gloss over that because it's good to have good people around. 
it's for good sure. to have a positive situation around yeah. niggas that are encouraging niggas that are looking for us to get to the touch niggas are looking for us to win and not just for me to win for sure. like you said, so we don't gloss, we're not gonna gloss over any of those type of things it's one of yeah. the things like i always tell people i kind of picked this up recently now is even though i just said i always um <laughs> i get what you're saying uh I don't tell people like, yeah, I'm trying to do. No, nah, I'm doing. I ain't yeah. trying for nothing. We making it happen. We're okay. too far in the game to be trying. We either doing <laughs> it or we're not. Oh, you ain't. That's true. Yeah. Now, uh, this was the next one that I had for you. Q, what yep. is the problem that you need to solve? Uh, oh, problem excuse I... me. What is, the pro- what is the problem you want to solve, should I say? Uh, the problem I want to solve, let me see, is, is a couple of things. The problem I want to solve, for one, is with myself, and that's procrastination, dog. That's a problem that I got that I know I need to solve. Something I, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you why it's so hard to solve. And then I'm gonna get to the second one. Procrastination is so hard for me to solve because, like, I'm so motherfucking clutch in the, you know, what I'm saying in the pinch. So, like, I feel like I'm so good at it that I, I push it off to the last minute because I know I can pull it off. But that shit sucked, though. At the end of the day, though, it it kind of build tension. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get rid of that. I want to actually have some plans in place instead of executing at the last second like I normally do. That's one That's one problem. Uh, the second form problem. Chaos type joint. <laughs> yeah, for sure, like I do. But in real life, that shit ain't healthy, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, in real life, it ain't healthy. Like, for real. Now, the second problem I want to solve is the podcasting problem, which I think we're attempting to do that now. And that's just to, to bring all of these Black voices together and try to go in the same direction. So I think that's what I'm working on now. Shout out to you. Shout out to my man's uh, shit. Who everybody? Shout out to all my people's out of Afros and Audios Podcast Festival. Uh, shit out in uh, my man Julius out in Colorado. I'm trying to put connect all of these dots so we can kind of start going on the same path because like it's it's enough out here for all of us. And I think that the the thing I hate that people say all the time is that when you say you got a podcast, people say everybody got a podcast but in real life they do but everybody not doing it well and even if we do all have one it's still enough for all of us so like if we can put all this shit together we can really get moving in the right direction because as many of us that have a podcast we still only like three percent of all the podcasts in the world like it's not a lot of black podcasters for real like they mostly white let's just keep it real (laughs) so all right this is our man you connected from the rip Mm-hmm. Cause you was on shots out the onk, shots out the Jack Johnson. For sure, yep, shout out the Jack. I heard you on there, and the stuff that you were saying on the Jack, I said this was all, this all ties in together because he was procrastinating the whole situation. <laughs> kept hitting you saying, "Yo, bro, we need to talk." Yo, bro, we need so, to talk. so you know, you know, me. and didn't know you from nothing. Yeah. Just the way the way you was carrying yourself on the show, the stuff that you was talking, I was like, "This type boy, I want to have on my corner." For sure. This is the type of energy. This is the same thing. Like again, go back to that the positive energy situation. The energy. This is the yeah. type of situation that I want because this is what I want to do with us. Yeah. And they got to get with like-minded people who are, like you said, doing good quality. Yeah. I don't care sure. how many podcasts you listen to. You're only going to get hype from this podcast. This is <laughs> right. The only place you're getting me from. Exactly. Like, you can't. You might have something similar in time, similar in style, similar in delivery, but they ain't me. Yeah. And for sure. That's the thing that everybody tries to give you those demeaning type answers with is, oh, everybody got a podcast. Yeah, everybody ain't me, though. Everybody's <laughs> exactly. not making money off this situation. Everybody's not a professional with this situation. Everybody everybody's not, not paying good talent. At this. <laughs> paying talent, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, <laughs> right. Everybody's not that. So, you know, anybody who has Wi-Fi and headphones can do a podcast. <laughs> but, Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you see it's so many pages that have three, four, five episodes and then they die out. You see, they ain't had a post since 2021. That's not <laughs> exactly. the same lane. That, that's not the lane that I'm in. Exactly. That's not the lane of the people that you're talking about. Right. So let's also decipher what these different situations is. Some people have a hobby of a podcast. Some people mm-hmm. are professionals and paid talent with this. Those are two okay. totally different lanes that you are in. No what doubt. you're talking about is the professional end, which is why me and you are here, and we can find out how to podcast right every Monday, two o'clock on the E Block Radio Network. Go sure. ahead, though. You had something else though that you am saying you wanted to do. Oh no, that was just them two things right there. Them, them my two problems I want to solve. Common sense is the, pr- the problem I want to solve, and it yeah. ain't even that you can solve common sense. So let me just switch it even to think before you act. Yeah. Whenever you just say, "Man, I was mad," then you probably made a bad decision. <laughs> 
For sure. That's an episode that we just did recently. Shout out to my man Nah. We did my man Nutmeg Nah. Excuse me. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Throw him out properly. <laughs> <laughs> you got to think with your head, not your heart. Your heart will have you making the emotional decisions of, oh, well, I was mad. And that's not a good thing. If you, know, oh, well, I, if you know, oh, well, I was mad, then that means you shouldn't be making a decision right now. Because you exactly. must always make your decisions from a place of rational thought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you have we have to get to a point where we think before we just do. Especially as men, I I, I, I can't express that Especially enough. Especially as adults, though, bro. Like <laughs> once we are at the stage of responsibility for other people, you can't just be doing whatever you want. You can't right. just be doing because that's oh that's how I felt at the moment. Copy and where did it get you? It got you probably divorced, beat up, robbed, <laughs> shot, in jail. Like your right. cousin hit because you got smart with your dude, and your cousin was sweet for it. You never know what these situations might be. No, you never know. For real. That's why you got to, let's think rationally. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Now, Q, what do you mm-hmm. love? Uh, Aside from loose women. Uh... Everybody <laughs> no, loves I'm just... those, okay? <laughs> I'm just shit. It, okay? Everybody <laughs> loves those. We don't need to, that was, it was, uh, we get 100% agreement there. God, I'm a, uh, I think what I love the most and what I would really love is is freedom and a lot of times that's that's financial that's stress just free from all of that shit that's what i desire so i I know that's what i would love the most i would say freedom i try to get deep on you and shit i was trying to match your trying to match your your (laughs) shit (laughs) trying to get deep and shit i'm gonna just say responsibility yeah because you love that shit I That's what's it. up. That's what's because, up. Because, like I said on last week's episode, shout out to my sis, Rel. Um, Michelle, shout out to her. I got to have, I've since I was nine and graduated the fourth grade and got an autograph book, my yeah. mentality was, well, damn, all right, you got a couple hundred dollars. How can we turn this into some more money? As a kid. <laughs> at nine? Yes. Hell, at nine. You've been at on nine, it. I get, at nine, I get my autograph book. My cousin owned an Islamic store down the street. Okay. And he told me he could sell me 25 pies for $25. Yeah. I could sell these pies for $2 and make $25 a week. Right. My brother older than me. All right. Hey, look, bro, let's go hit the, if we done, we don't move them all at Juma. Let's hit the barbershops. Let's ride around the hood and see if we can move them. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking as a nine-year-old. At nine. As a kid, I never like asking my mom or my dad for money. Yeah. Like if, if, my, if my mom gave me the money, then copy. But if I woke up and the money wasn't there, I'd be like, damn, you saying I don't bread this week. We got to figure yeah. it out. Let me go so, get it. Yeah. That was before I even got a wife, kids, and responsibilities. All different stuff that I got now. <laughs> right. So like now, once you got that, now it ain't no excuses. It ain't no you don't feel like it again. You it ain't no oh, what yeah, you feel yeah. like. It's what has right. to be done. So Thanks. having those responsibilities just makes me more of me. It mm. makes me more of having to connect all your situations, making sure your energy is positive because you got to deal with these little people and try to mold them and shape them and still be a husband and still right. be a host. And damn, we got a cleaning job. Or yeah, he needs two <laughs> right. jackets, three jerseys. I custom hustle world. Um, <laughs> right. I'll be able to do all plug that different in. stuff. Though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, very expensive plugs. These joints ain't cheap. Um, <laughs> but you got to be able to do all of that stuff. And without that, you got it. That responsibility makes me know there is no you can't, you won't, you just got to. It just is what it right. is. Thanks. I feel you. If you I love to, responsibility, though. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I love it. <laughs> if you ain't got no responsibility, from it, though. See, look, yeah. if you ain't got no responsibility, though, and you sit around doing too much of the stuff that you want to do, the stuff that yeah. you want to do is going to lead you into this yeah. is a collect call from Q. <laughs> <laughs> right. Put some on my JPEG. <laughs> yeah, then I mean, bro, I need some money for these soups. <laughs> right. Um, Damn. If you had to teach something, what would it be? Um, if I had to teach something, it would be, and and I, I'm I'm choosing a, a a age range for this. If I had something to teach, I would want to teach teenage boys how to communicate. Doug. I mean, because I I think that's where, I think that's where we lose in our our teen and our youth is communication. Dog, they don't know how to talk to each other. They don't know how to talk to uh, adults. They don't know how to they don't know how to interact with authority figures. So they need to be taught communication. I think somehow I learned communication skills. And I think if more of my peers 
had that kind of education during those ages, then so many of them wouldn't be dead or in jail right now. Like I, I, I remember talking to one of the little homies and shit out. Like he one of the niggas who don't live in the city. Like he grew up in the suburbs, but he trying to be something that he ain't. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to really sit him down. Like, dog, how many of your homies is dead or in jail, bro? He's like none. I was like, well, quit trying to live a life that you don't fucking want, my nigga. Because if I could get all the niggas that's dead and in jail back, and we didn't have to live the life that we used to live, shit, I wouldn't. Fuck that shit ain't. That shit ain't glorious. <laughs> that shit is not glorious, bro. It might be good for an Oscar nominated movie, but it ain't good for real life. Yeah, for you to really have them bumps, bruises, and scars, yeah, that wasn't as fun as it wasn't as fun yeah, as fuck, 50 nah. edited. It wasn't as fun as 50 edited. Right, exactly, dog. That shit's TV, real life, man. You don't want them problems. So yeah, that, that would be what I would teach uh communication, uh just learn how to communicate, express your fucking feelings, and just keep it fucking moving. Like I I don't know. These kids just, I don't know, man. It's scary. <laughs> but see, that is one of them things I always say. Go back to the kids. is always old heads. If yeah. you don't know how to respect no authority, if there was never no authority to be respected. There you go. Just cause that a nigga is, Just because a nigga is the oldest don't mean that he should be respected as the authority. You got to be an OG. Like, like I said this on the joint that we did it last time. I don't respect the way that so many people move that I can't just listen to you because you're older. I gotta right. see that you're actually doing something that it goes, oh no, nah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh no, nah, that was you know like that was the way to go. That was the move. So like you kind of gotta show them something yeah. to make them want to follow what you're telling them. You can yeah. tell them whatever. This is the funny thing about words is you can say anything. <laughs> like <laughs> right. You know but actions is all that matters. Yeah. I could have told you when we first talked, nah, bro, I'm having them episodes going to be right there for you. They're going to be in your box. And then every Tuesday, you could be hitting me saying, hi, you're supposed to be on a Monday. What happened? Yeah. I can tell you whatever, but the That's proof right. is going to be in the pudding. The proof is going to be, oh, no, nah, he got four episodes sitting right there for me. I ain't even had to say nothing to him. Hell yeah. <laughs> now all my goofy ass got to do is actually do it. And I just got to do is not procrastinate, make sure these joints is up on time. Exactly. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> Tie it all back in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talent like myself, we can do yeah. that type of thing. I see but we got one in the, I see we got one in the bank now too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it as soon as we get oh, off. Yeah, here. copy that. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> that'll be up for you. you know what I'm saying for uh, sure. now for me, damn, if I had to teach something, it would be big picture thinking. Mm. Uh just like you saying, uh the youngins, when you when you in like that between 15 and 17, let's just call it. Because these is the years where a lot of these decisions that you're making is going to shape the rest of your life. Getting in that car is going to shape the rest of your life. Not getting in the Tell car. Uh, going to her house. Right. Making her your girl. Cheating on her. Just, oh, every, like a lot of that stuff is going to shape the rest of forever. Mm. And it's like, I want every, I want you to understand that the world is just bigger than whatever hood you grew up in. Yo, blocks, it's, for sure. It's deeper than just what's at both ends of the corner. Yep. It's just like we communicate, and it's a nigga in Detroit who think just like you for the young nigga from Philly. It's a nigga mm-hmm. in LA who's moving just like you. Now it's a little different because they can communicate with each other. They can have yeah. whole relationships that we didn't have. Right. But you also got to be thinking we can do that. Don't let yeah. people, don't let nobody else put their own insecurities and their lack of division yeah. on you that stunts sure. your growth. I'm quite sure when you started E Block, when y'all started this. God knows how many years ago. Right. I told y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, that ain't going to work. Right. Oh, y'all yeah, just, for sure. Y'all just BSing down there. Y'all ain't really doing nothing. For but sure. if you don't see the vision, copy. That's what's up. You don't get yeah. it. I don't yeah. need to explain it to you. Either you get it or you don't. Because there's somebody somewhere else who's going, damn, that's exactly like, that's just like me and my homies. Or, that makes perfect sense to me. Like, Hell, yeah. You just got to make sure that you think bigger than what your situation is because the world is so much bigger that's what make it wild and you can move like you (laughs) have to stay here ain't got no chains all right (laughs) yeah you could get a one-way ticket to arkansas and be a whole new nigga like be a whole new nigga though and that's that's what's crazy about now though like and i ain't making no excuse for you know us back in the day but at least back in the day these these avenues to see what life is like on the other side 
wasn't available. Like now you can see what niggas is doing somewhere else. Like mm-hmm. it makes the world that much smaller. So for me, it's even dumber for you to not to be trying to do something better because you can actually see what's going on over here. Before we couldn't see. Like, you know, I'm old, nigga. This is before the internet shit went on internet for real. Like, I don't know what niggas doing over here. You know what I'm saying? So Bro, like now that you know, do to, something better. My first computer had the back like Trina on it. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't know flat screen. Can, back. Yeah. My first computer wasn't no flat screen joint. You know right. What I mean? You used to have to hook up the house phone to the computer, and now can't nobody call the crib, and there ain't no Facts. cell phones like that. Yeah, my I'm nigga, from that era. My <laughs> nigga, I still, I still got an AOL email account, bro. Don't fuck around. Dude, hold up. <laughs> what is your email, AOL email, and how can the folks reach you? Bro, Q Lewis at AOL.com, bro. I still got that shit. Don't play with me, man. I'm that old. Dial it up. <laughs> Don't call the phone. I'm getting ready to get online. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what and kept the email screen. address, bro. You know how many times my mom screamed up the steps? Get off the computer. <laughs> yeah, that shit yeah. definitely going to the dead to the uh dial tone. You try to call me. I'm on that shit. Damn. All right. One last joint. What's up? What do you tell 18-year-old Q? Oh shit. What do I tell 18-year-old Q? Um Damn, that's kind of a good one and shit though. I think I tell 18 year old Q to to keep to keep thinking, keep thinking the way you're thinking, because you've always thought big and shit, but be be considerate of other people's uh about other people's feelings. And I say that because I was really brash when I was a teenager. You know what I'm saying? Like I always thought bigger, like I always thought. You know what I'm saying? That 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 the world was bigger than my couple blocks, but I always discounted other people's feelings and shit. Um, it wasn't until after I became an adult and understood that in order to build relationships, in order to bring good energy, you have to be cognizant of the people around you. And for a while, I that just wasn't me. I was just like, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. This is me, this is what I'm doing. And that's a way to be to a certain extent, but at some point. You you with the people, you got to live amongst the people, dog. So that's what I would tell you. Like, nigga, relax. Luckily, I was able to get through that shit without something absolutely foolish happening. <laughs> so I'm 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 thankful for that shit, for sure. But yeah, that's why I tell them, like, keep keep the big picture, keep that ambition, but be cognizant of people's feelings, dog. Like, for real. That's out to my man Q, who will be uh, giving his credit on the topic that I just wrote down. Uh, in the future on how to listen to podcasts, Hey, right? look, because you hit me with some shit like I'm really about to go back and think about. Like, damn. Nah, I mean, you know, that's what we like to do over here at the How to Host Podcast. We ain't paid yeah. time with baby. You know what I'm saying? We're not just doing, we don't have just a weekend hobby over here. We're making classics, baby. Right. Facts. Yeah. We trying to sell out Wells Fargo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. We trying to get this thing on the road. What's y'all join out there? Little Caesars? Oh, yeah. Little Caesars. <laughs> We trying to get Little Caesars sold out. You know right, shout out to Little Caesars, man. New Editions did their thing last night. I oh, missed the concert that. though. <laughs> hey man, listen, you know what I'm saying you got to let them know. Look, we need all cheese back here, all stuff crust joints. You know what I'm saying <laughs> on the sponsorship. Dog, um, stuff crust is my shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would tell 18 year old Hype, lay off the butter. Um, <laughs> don't drink so many Mystics. Yeah, uh, Mystics. <laughs> Dog, what? <laughs> that used to be my shit. Oh, what? Those glass saying? of sugar, bro. Yeah, the whole big glass joints. You shake the joint up. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. You never thought shaking all of that up was just nigga. You know how much syrup is in this joint? All kind of sugar in that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. For real, for real. Lay off the mystics and butter. Um, yeah, lay off that shit for sure. But for real, for real, it would be listen to what your mom is saying. My mom had said when I was four. No, my mom said when I was like 14, like you should try to do like a radio show type of thing. When you was 14? What? I got my computer. I'm 14. Like I said, yeah. with, the Trina back, with the Trina back. And gotcha. it <laughs> was Trina like, man, you can't do no radio show. Like, how you do the joint on the internet? What are you talking about? Like, right. Now, I always tell people, I talked about this last week on the episode where Martin and Stuart Scott was my influences. Martin doing radio on the TV show. <laughs> Word. And Stuart well, Scott do. In my head as a kid, it's like they paying this boy just to sit here and bid yeah. with Sean. Somebody really doing that as their job. Like, that yeah. wouldn't be hard to do. For but sure. I, if I would have listened to her, though, and started back in 2005 or something, in 2002. No, I, hold on, because I, I didn't mean to cut you off, dog. Hey, hand me that. 
my dog just came in and brought me some uh some bourbon because I, I just got real excited. I don't know if you've seen my, my face. So shout out to my dog, Huey Dog. Mr. Oh yeah, Detroit's number one ambassador. It's one shout of the uh, podcasts that I produce, and she just brought me some uh some good ass Elijah Craig that I'm about to crack open and shit. Anyway, my oh, back. No. Go ahead, cuz. Oh no, no, we we, we, go, we gonna get into we're gonna get into producer of the year. We're doing that right. next. It's called a teasing right. business. Bet. <laughs> Well, I'm about yeah, to, I would, I'm about to get would, that some work. I would go back. I would go back and like start that situation because like when you look at uh Bill Simmons joint and yeah. he sold his joint to Spotify for billions. It was like, damn, if we'd have got on the ground floor of this joint, you didn't know nothing about a podcast back then. So right. you can't really like retroactively. I'd have invested in Google. Like, yeah, everybody would see that. Yeah. But if I would have just went with what she was telling me, and I wish she would have just made me do it. Like <laughs> and, right. and, you we still we still early though, we still early. I mean, yeah, now no, it's a whole different situation. Then there's nobody doing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Then it's like, what you mean? It's on the internet. You got a phone, huh? Like how you? <laughs> right. It was that type time. Yeah. So if you'd have got on the ground floor then, if I'd have jumped on him then, like I said, 2005. Instead, I got in in 2017. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With, a, with 12 years of experience of doing anything, you're gonna be able to do it much bigger and much For better. Sure. You, Excuse me, you should be because some niggas just be doing some niggas be actually paying attention. That's true too. All of that. <laughs> um now, since you, you know what I'm saying brought that up, let's talk about the producer of the year situation. For Give sure. us a little bit of the things that Q produces. Cause I know um, you got the joint where it goes. I'm not even gonna try to emulate the Q did that voice because that's not you know what I'm saying. Oh, that's my shit. Niggas. I'm telling you, that shit too, gonna be a when that tag come many, on. It's too many niggas on this call for emulation. Yeah, it's too many niggas there, but you know, <laughs> you know how the videos start. You know what I'm saying? Me. <laughs> Take the uh, yeah, yeah. But you know how that shit go. But yeah, that, that's my thing. That's why I got that tag because I'm like, this how we doing it. So that's my tag. Every time you hear that shit, you know, this one of my joints. So whoever, whoever podcast you listening to, it's just like DJ Mustard. Nigga. Like when Mustard shit come on, you know it's his shit, and that's how my shit want. That's how I wanted my shit to be. So. But my whole thing was, to be honest with you, I started doing this podcast shit so long ago that I ain't really interested in being on camera no more. Like, this behind-the-scenes shit is good for me because other people have a voice, too, and I just want to be able to help them get to the, where they're trying to go. Because when when I started, wasn't nobody doing this shit. So, like, if I can be the one who can get you past all these obstacles and shit that I had, then let's do this shit together. You know what I'm saying? So that's how, that's where I'm at with that shit, dog. So I'm just... I love being on the other side of the camera. It's just kind of fun, actually. That's what made me start doing How to Hustle Seminar was yeah. I remember us starting off just screaming at each other in the basement. <laughs> and I wish I had somebody to tell me, yo, y'all should probably do this. Or you should probably yeah. do that. Use this. Or like, yeah. just, or, or this shit ain't what, working. Don't do that shit. Yeah. But, and in the beginning, you don't know what you don't know. You don't yeah. know what questions to ask because you, you just don't know. Exactly. So... It's like I wish I had somebody there to just to tell me those little nuggets that if people start podcasts now, it's like, oh yeah, well, I can tell you these two, three things that'll help you out. And you'll go, damn, I never even thought about that. And it's the most, it's the easiest thing in the world that you never even had a concept, never even had a thought in your head that we could have just did that and it made sure. it two times better. We got 20 more downloads. 20 more downloads is huge. Sure. In the beginning. Speaking, speaking of which, I'm, I'm gonna drop you off a little nugget right now that I just ran across on YouTube that I started doing to all of my, uh, all the podcasts that I got right now. Um, YouTube now, like YouTube now have moved to a, a podcast category and shit, right? So like now what you need to do if you got a, obviously I'm doing your video, so I do it on my end. But if you got a, if you got a podcast, a video podcast on YouTube, whatever playlist you got it in on your YouTube, you got to go into your, uh, into your editor and change the category to podcast. What that's going to do is that's going to give you your views on, on YouTube, but also because it's a category on YouTube, it's going to give you some extra spins. So whatever you're getting on the views, people actually look up podcasts, your shit might jump up quicker. It's a new category right now, so if you jump in right now, you can kind of get to the top of the algorithm. So that's just a little nugget, you know, for niggas who are trying to get their they reels up. That's one way to do it. Also, if you're doing a podcast and you're doing a video, you need to have at least that one download of yourself. How yeah. you didn't watch your own joint makes no sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, dog. I don't. Uh, I don't so look work, at my. So, so I don't, it seems I don't like I bought shit. that up for a reason, huh? <laughs> I don't I look guess. at my own shit. And I guess because I, 
I don't look at my shit because I look at everybody else. You got to figure I'm producing like six, I think six other podcasts. I'm looking at everybody else. Shit. I don't look at mine though. Oddly enough. Like, I, I don't know. It's weird. Plus I've been doing it for so long. It's just like, shit. I seen it. Watching, <laughs> watching that game tape keeps you from ben, being Ben Simmons. Okay. <laughs> Don't ever want to be Ben Simmons, my dog. You don't ever want to be Ben Simmons. Now you're faking a back injury. You're almost out of the league. You're right. lucky I'm fast and I really said something about this ball. All right. Um, now right. we're going to throw the cue. New segment on the show. If I remember, yep. is what I keep telling the guests. Um, oh, I'm yeah. on the hot seat. Give me, throw two joints at me, Q. What you got for me? All right. Uh, if you could, if you could start. Yo, uh, if you could start this podcast and, and all the hustles you got, if you could start them somewhere else other than Philly, where would that place be? I would say it would be in the South. So I'm a the good South, go with, the South Surprise. is more so the South is more connective than we are. We yeah. are ignorant as hell here in the North. <laughs> um, I went to Dallas and did a meet and greet. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think either I'm thinking either Dallas is either Dallas, Atlanta, or Houston, it's Dallas, Atlanta, Miami. Gotcha. Ooh, Miami. Okay. I'm thinking Miami's weather. So you know, you always, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like other than hurricanes. Then thinking, yeah, then hurricanes, <laughs> copy is what I was about to say. <laughs> so we're gonna go with Dallas. I'm gonna just go with Dallas. Uh, yeah. just because like I said, I did a meet and greet down there in 2019. Mm-hmm. And it's all underground podcasts. And it's like this community that they had yeah. where everybody's pulling for everybody, where yeah. you put this together where it was a meet and greet. And like I said, I just happened to hit somebody and say, yo, well, what's this? She said, if you come down, we'll throw y'all on the headline because it's y'all. And yeah. because y'all from out of town, it makes it a better situation. No and doubt. to see 20-something podcasts show up for each other. Yeah. But nothing else other than just the communication. Everybody talk to each other. Everybody make sure we subscribe to everybody's situation. Yeah. To see everybody try to build the community like that. That's the same thing we're talking about. But we talking about doing it from all the different places. And, all and different and places, yeah. We, sure. we build an informed Voltron. Now, like I said, <laughs> down there, though, they were, like, all on it together. Yeah. Now, since then, the Rona happened and everybody's world went crazy. <laughs> but right. seeing that, and I'm telling them where I'm from in Philly, I'm from 23rd Street. If yeah. we say we're doing something on 23rd Street, niggas will set up on 24th, in the middle of 23rd, on the other end of 23rd, <laughs> on 22nd, on 21st. Yeah. Like, they're going to do everything except support the situation. And that don't, <laughs> that's that how niggas do it. Just because that's how niggas is up here. Right. It sure. would definitely be in the South. In the South, huh? All right, my uh, my last question, which I, I ask every podcast for this, though. But if you had a, a top three list, dog, dead or alive, who would you want to interview for your podcast, dog? Top three. Um, hmm. Dead or alive. So it could be anybody. See, for me, I can go and give you three. Uh, yeah. But for me, it's like whatever it is that you're known for, we're not doing that on my platform. I got you. Because your audience, whatever that might be, Mm-hmm. You sing, rap, act, whatever it is, they're getting that from you every time they get you. So they already know that. Something, I want to get something totally different out of you. Yeah. So I'm going to give you one that's going to definitely Nipsey. You got to go with yeah. Nipsey. You got to. When I heard, I've messed with Nipsey more so on a personal level than I did even the music at first because it was like, what he died for, you just seen pre show. What's my yeah. phone doing? Damn, my man's calling from jail. My brother is calling exactly. from jail. Exactly. And damn, your man gets out of jail and you going down here to make sure he got something. That would have been me. That's something right. that I would have did. Yeah. Um, so definitely Nip. Tupac, because of... Tupac ain't better than Biggie, but... Yeah, <laughs> All right, I'm glad admit, you said that. <laughs> I can admit that now, but 1995 hype was first off... And <laughs> Fuck your bitch. Nothing, right. And nothing you could have told me about that boy, okay? Right. That boy has so much on... Young me that is like, I got to go with him. Yeah. And my last one would be Hakeem Olajuwon. Word. Reason why I would say Hakeem Olajuwon is, one, mm-hmm. he's one of the most underrated players ever. I give you uh, that for sure. And again, young me is watching Hakeem Olajuwon fast in the playoffs. Yeah. Now, I'm born Muslim my entire life. Okay. But in my head, I'm watching this and I'm looking like, whatever we believe in. hmm 
this dude is out here ready to die for it because he <laughs> right. can't breathe out there. Exactly. His lungs got to be on fire. So now when I go play for the basketball team, it's Ramadan and we fast. And I'm out there. Yeah, Lajuan did it. I'm out here. Yeah. And you out there tongue wagging like, how this boy played 48 minutes? This was just practice. <laughs> right. So I would definitely go with Lajuan uh, yeah. because – He's like he need to get more of a spotlight because they be disrespecting that boy when they go through these rankings and stuff. And like, no, no, they do, they do. This boy had a jump shot handle. He would pluck the point guard. He's guarding the point guard, and he's going to give you fifty on the other end <laughs> if you disrespect him. Hell yeah, right? you can ask Shaq about that. <laughs> Shaq is my favorite player ever, but he yeah. disrespected Shaq in them finals for sure. And that was after that was after he pissed on David Robinson. Right, it's that footwork, bro. That's, that footwork. That's that footwork. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I would go uh, Elijah Wine, Nipsey, and Pop. Got gotcha. that one. Okay, I fuck with that. I only had two, right? Yeah, you got <laughs> nah, one more. You got one more for me? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't got All no right, more. Copy that. <laughs> All right. Q, I appreciate you coming on, bro. That was episode, what is this? 104. We are out. I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.